Okay, we're standing uh, at the top of the North Tower in Queen's Ferry Crossing um, and we're standing next to the, the weather ses sensors that have been installed specifically to address the issue of ice accretion. The sensors measure um, four factors, uh, four fa uh, weather factors, uh, the wind speed, so we've got anemometers, um, the dew point, uh, the temperature and the relative humidity. Um, and, and these factors are, are recognised when you get a convergence of, of, of certain uh, elements of these factors then ice accretion can occur uh, both on the tower and on the cables. The, the weather conditions that, that, that we know that it happens in is when you, you tend to get squalls driving through, uh, coming up the fourth, um, generally uh, on a westerly wind and, and what happens is you know these squalls normally take about 15 minutes to come through and pass um, and what we've seen is ice forming within that 15 minute period sticking to the cables and then once the squall has passed through in certain conditions it starts to fall off the cables relatively quickly sometimes within 10-15 minutes after the squall has passed. The, sen the sensors will not uh, prevent ice from forming on the cables but what they will do will allow us to um, to, to better uh, understand the, the conditions and, and, and be able to predict better when ice accretion may occur. The anemometers on the outside, which are measuring wind speed and direction. We've got uh, the probe, which is uh, sensing the, the dew point, and we've got humidity uh, and temperature probes. So this is uh, the data that comes in from the sensors on the Queensferry Crossing. It's available via a website and can be looked at on any, any computer uh, through, through the website. Uh, it provides uh, various weather conditions to us. So up here we've got the wind speed, the relative humidity, the air temperature and the dew point temperature. And it's a convergence of these, uh, these individual weather elements that can cause ice accretion when the conditions are right. So uh, when we have a forecast for there may be ice accreting on the bridge. Uh, we obviously, as we speak to our forecaster, as we get closer to the time where it may happen, we would start to actively monitor this website. Uh, somebody just be sitting here looking at it, and this is pulled uh, every 10 minutes, so the data updates every 10 minutes. And that allows us to monitor what is happening. When we get to the time where ice may accrete on the bridge, we'll also have uh, patrols out on the bridge checking uh, for any ice accretion that they can see. If we identify ice forming on the structure, we would speak to our, our partners who are Transport Scotland, Traffic Scotland and Police Scotland and we would uh, make the decision that the bridge may have to be closed and if that was the case, we would uh, close the bridge with diversions, uh, suitable diversions for the traffic. We would also put out on social media and all, me all media outlets that the bridge was going to be closed.